A proper grid start for this second GP2 weekend with the American Scott Speed on pole, but it was former Minardi F1 driver Jimmy Bruni who stormed to the front to lead down to the first corner in the red Coloni car. Jose Maria Lopez slotted past Speed to take second place into Turn 1, but a sensational start by Ryan Sharp from 7th on the grid got him wheel to wheel with Speed through the first two turns before they went streaming on through Barcelona's endless long right-hander that is Turn 3. Adam Carroll had also started well from 12th on the grid, he was already up to 8th. With Ryan's start from row four, Olivier Pla stalls in front of him, but he just drives round him in a perfect getaway. Now we can ride with Supernova's Adam Carroll. From 12th on the grid, he got away cleanly, but it was in the first two turns that he had to make up the places. Series leader Heike Kovalainen, having qualified 11th, opted to take his pit stop early, so he could race on a clear road. The rules now require at least two tyres to be changed in the single mandatory stop. Adam Carroll was now up to seventh and harrying Nicolas Lapierre and his old British F3 series rival Nelson Piquet. Another brilliant starter was the Venezuelan Ernesto Viso in the red BCN car. He'd started 20th after problems in qualifying and by lap five he'd climbed to 10th place. The local Campos racing team took a knock when their Argentinian hot shoe Juan Cruz Alvarez lost it and ended up in the tyres. Sharp still had his fourth place, but Piquet was closer now. The 4-litre V6 GP2 cars were proving a lot faster than their F3000 predecessors around Barcelona. After his early stop, Kovalainen was climbing back, dealing with Clivio Piccioni's Durango car and then hero Yoshimoto's BCN entry. But Ernesto Vizo's bad luck continued. BCN boss Enrico Scalabroni on the right as Vizo ponders his misfortune. Giorgio Pantaleo's pits to car radio was faulty. He came in unexpectedly and the Supernova team weren't ready for him. But teammate Adam Carroll's stop went well. Battling for fifth with Nicola Lapierre, they came in together. This time Supernova had the two left-hand tyres ready to change. After Imola, Adam was determined not to speed in the pit lane. But the Arden pit stop was going less well, so Carroll was able to pass Lapierre in the pit lane and make up the place at last. At the front, there was a great battle for the lead now. After their mandatory pit stops, Bruni was back in the lead. Lopez had spun away second place, and it was Scott Speed who was now piling on the pressure. But there was heartbreak for Ryan Sharp. This was going to be his first GP2 podium but six laps from home, his engine just died and his race was over. Bruni managed to sit out Scott Speed's pressure and pulled away slightly to score his first GP2 victory. For Coloni Motorsport, it was a sweet moment. And for Bruni, a welcome return to the front after a character-building season at the back of Formula One last year. Kovalainen's pit stop strategy rewarded him with third place, a good fourth for Neil Jani, and Carroll ran out seventh behind the recovering Lopez. Fastest lap points went to Nico.